Hi, in this Figma tutorial, I'd like to show you two different ways which you can use to fix missing font errors when working with files within Figma. So let's dive right in. For this example, I have a simple mobile UI kit, which I found in the Figma community, courtesy of Tony Jimayel. And when I open the file within Figma, I can see that in the top right, I have a missing fonts error. So what you wanna do is click on that and you see a list of all the missing fonts within the file. So I'm missing SF Pro Display and SF Pro Text fonts, which are Mac fonts, and I don't have those because I'm working on a Windows machine. So what I want to do is find the equivalent versions of those fonts for Windows to replace them with my design, eliminating these warnings. And the first thing you'd want to do is click on these targets to see where exactly in the file the fonts are missing. So here we see that we have 10 different font strings which are using the SF Pro Display font which are missing within the file. So I'll click on that and that's this keypad here. I'll go to the next one, SF Pro Text for these text strings. There's 155 strings which are using the SF Pro Text regular. And lastly, there's one text string which is using the SF Pro Text semi bold. So, the first way you can go about fixing this is selecting individual strings and in the text properties, you can click on the font that you want to replace it with and search for your font. I'll use Enter for my case enter and Figma automatically replaces just that one text string. But I'll undo that and I'll actually replace all the fonts that are missing. So for SF Pro Display Regular, we're going to type in enter here or whatever the font of your choice. And we want to match it up to the regular version here. SF Pro Text Bold. I'll use my enter font again and make sure that I'm using the bold version. And this is why it's helpful to have fonts which have a lot of different variants of thicknesses within the font family. For the next one, I'll use enter regular once again. And lastly, for SF Pro Text semi bold, I'll use enter and the semi-bold version, and I'll click Replace Fonts. Now all of my text strings have been updated throughout the entire document, and I no longer have the missing text errors. So there you go. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please let me know in the comments any other topics that you'd like to see covered. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.